Welcome ladies and gents to Tesla Jigsaw. Today I've got loads of exciting new Tesla FSD footage and stories to share with you from around the world. First up, Tesla have released this, a montage of typical human driving behavior and uh, all captured on Tesla's cameras from dogs walking out into the street two crazy pedestrians just open up their doors whilst they're on their mobile phones we all see this behavior absolutely every day don't we this is interesting the uh, tesla on fsd actually reverses to allow this bus space to uh, to maneuver past it and of course red light runners was that a tesla i'm going to, have to back up on that one wow not all tesla drivers are good who knew so aside from possibly saving people's lives as we go here but it's towards the end of this video where my UK audience should get a little bit excited because my good friend Dave Dusen, who's on the channel quite often, took the time to uh, figure out where this van's company name is from. So it's from Birmingham, which is, of course, near the Longbridge Tesla Delivery Centre. So it's definitely filmed in the UK and it gives us concrete evidence that Tesla is testing its FSD on our streets. This is very good news. I've kind of known it for a long time, but I've not been allowed to say anything. This, I would assume, allows me to spread it to the world. FSD somehow is coming to the UK. It's just a matter of when. Next up, over to Prague in a Cybertruck. He will not be able to handle. You think it can't? No, he can't. It's like another crazy roundabout. Okay, where he's going? <laughs> where, where does... Uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, here. we can't fit here. We can't possibly fit in here, right? That's brushing the... Did oh. we just fit in there? <laughs> we just fit in between the curb. <laughs> okay. okay. That's okay. crazy. You have okay, I'll stop that there. The Cybertruck using FSD in Prague is fascinating because it is the first public demo of Tesla's FSD supervised version 14.1.7 on a Cybertruck in Europe, skillfully navigating narrow cobblestone streets and roundabouts without local maps, showcasing its adaptability to complex urban settings despite occasional minor errors. Um, I'm not going to play the full video here because it's very long, but I would suggest that you go and find it. I'll link it in the description below. This uh, video brought to you by Robot in Real Life and uh, Cybertruck EU. Thanks so much for filming this test, guys. It's absolutely wonderful to see. I just want to play you one more little clip. Here is the only way how you can go is uh, basically go back because... Yeah, here is a little tiny roundabout which he cannot handle. I I think he will not be able to handle. You think it can't? No, Because it can't. it's like so... Uh, because here is here is a one-way road. Okay. okay. Then, then he cannot go to the one-way road. Let's try. Okay, this is a forbidden road. Okay, it's, I'm not, it's backing I'm not, up through I'm the roundabout. I'm not going doing anything. <laughs> it it just backed up okay, a little you bit. You see this roundabout? Yeah. This is actually the size of the roundabout. That's so and crazy! <laughs> wow. And the car had to back up, but it's continuing. <laughs> back up twice <laughs> inside the roundabout. So. What's incredible about this is FSD supervised typically uses local maps um, as well when it's officially released in a country, but the Prague demo ran without them. So this relies on vision system alone, exactly as, as humans do it. It's navigating things as it sees through its cameras, using its brain. But one of the biggest differences between having a human operator behind the wheel or a computer using AI and vision only cameras is it's going to only improve over time. It's going to get much better. Speaking of which, Tesla have introduced a new FSD safety website page with a live counter of how many miles owners have driven on FSD supervised overall and in cities. FSD supervised results are in. Seven times fewer major collisions, seven times fewer minor collisions, and five times fewer off-highway collisions. Always attentive, never distracted. Cameras don't blink, feel tired, or get distracted. Full self-driving supervised helps you drive better by taking care of the most common and error-prone driving tasks. Tesla vehicles are equipped with external cameras that enable 360 degree visibility, plus safety features powered by the same technology as our FSD software to help reduce the severity of accidents or prevent them altogether. Over the air software updates ensure each Tesla vehicle has access to the latest safety improvements. And given this bonkers 6.4 billion miles of FSD data, I couldn't help but ask Grok. 
What are the implications of this growing number? Tesla's FSD counter recently hit over 6.4 billion miles as of mid-November 2025, up from 2 billion in Q3 2024, confirming rapid growth fueled by wider adoption and software updates, and its brief predictions. Exponential AI leap by mid-2026, miles could top 50 billion, enabling unsupervised FSD version 15, with near-human error rates slashing global road fatalities by 20 to 30 percent in adopting regions. Well, that seems quite a positive. Robotaxi boom. Cumulative data will unlock 1 million plus robotaxis by 2027, generating $10 billion of annual revenue for Tesla via ride-hailing fleets. <laughs> oh, is that all? And uh, regulatory green light. Safety statistics. Seven times fewer crashes will push approvals in 20 plus countries by 2026. Well, I certainly hope so. Do you think the UK will be one of them by then? Let me know in the comments. Accelerating EV market share to 40% worldwide. I don't get that bit. Accelerating EV market share. What, if you're just traveling in one? I don't know. Don't understand that bit. Uh, edge over rivals. Tesla's data moat widens, forcing Waymo crews to license tech. Crews are they even in existence anymore? To license tech, valuing FSD at $500 billion by 2030. Well, let's see if uh, Grok's predictions come true, shall we? Next up, I want to share this. The Everything Electric show is going on in Australia right now. Um, this picture was put up by Richard Laxton. Tesla are running test drives with 20 FSD equipped vehicles at the Everything Electric show in Melbourne, aiming for over 600 test drives over the weekend. Well, the good news there is that they have smashed it. Everything Electric, right. Have you experienced the future yet? Tesla has passed over 600 test drives in their new full self-driving supervised program here at Everything Electric Melbourne this weekend. Let's see how many we can get to by the end of today. I replied, great to see. I do hope Robert, Dan or Jack, or any of the team there actually get a, get to have a ride and film the experience. I, I would assume it would blow them away. They'd be very excited for uh, Tesla and the future of autonomous cars, robo taxis, cyber cabs and everything else. This is really great to see. But let's just touch on what's going on in Australia. Tesla launched FSD Supervised in Australia, in uh, which is the first right-hand drive market on the 18th of September for hardware 4, Model 3 and Model Ys. You can buy FSD Supervised for 10000 Australian dollars or $149 per month. That came about in, on the 18th of October. Early users, apparently there's about 3,000 of them. They drive about 80,000 kilometres per day in all, generating 30 million Australian dollars in purchases. Australia has 150,000 Teslas with about 20 to 30 percent being hardware for varieties. There's been a strong uptake due to local performance and subscriptions. Thanks to people like my friend Ryan Cowan over in Australia making great videos for everyone to see and support for hardware three drivers is supposedly coming at some point too. So there we go, loads of Tesla FSD news from around the world for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite parts or what you're most excited about in the comments below. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, patrons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.